Hi everyone, my name is Jack. Um, I am currently working to develop quantum algorithms on Google's quantum computing framework called CERC. The project I'm going to be talking about today is um, how I was able to simulate the quantum Fourier transform and some of its algorithmic applications on um, Google's uh, quantum computing platform, like I said. Um, so the quantum Fourier transform is essentially an implementation of the classical Fourier transform, which is a mathematical operation that's very important within a lot of modern technology, um, and it implements that on a quantum circuit, which provides um, a much more efficient framework for this mathematical calculation to take place. And we can actually use the quantum Fourier transform in other applications on quantum circuits and eventually we can create stuff like Shor's fast factoring algorithm which essentially allows us to um, factor large prime numbers a lot more efficiently than we could ever do on a classical computer. So the quantum Fourier transform is at the base of a lot of more complex quantum algorithms and I was able to simulate the uh, inverse quantum Fourier transform which is basically the quantum Fourier transform but reversed and then I was able to use that in um, two other algorithms, quantum phase estimation and quantum order finding. So here we have the uh, circuit diagram representation of the inverse quantum Fourier transform, and this is exactly how I implemented it on CERC. The circuit is basically comprised of a series of Hadamard and phase shift gates, beginning with uh, two sets of switch gates, which switch the order of the qubits. And then the circuit is ended by measuring all of the qubits and looking at their probabilities. After I simulated the inverse quantum Fourier transform, I was able to simulate an algorithm that's a bit more complex called quantum phase estimation. Quantum phase estimation essentially allows us to estimate the phase shift acting upon a qubit by repeatedly applying a unitary matrix to some state vector where we're guaranteed that, that state vector is an eigenvector of the unitary matrix and that the uh, phase shift is an eigenvalue of that state vector or that eigenvector. This is the circuit schematic for a certain case of quantum phase estimation where our unitary matrix that's being repeatedly applied um, is the uh, Z-gate, or the Z-matrix, which is essentially a 4x4 four four matrix with uh, diagonal entries of 1 and negative 1. So as you can see, we first apply Hadamard gates to the qubits that are controlling the unitary matrix and its applications, then we're applying that unitary matrix, controlled by the first two qubits, to the uh, state vector, which is the third qubit, and then we are applying an inverse quantum Fourier transform to the top two qubits and then measuring them. The final algorithm that I simulated is called quantum order finding. And essentially, the quantum order finding algorithm allows us to find a solution to a certain math problem. And that problem goes as follows. If we are given two co-prime numbers, x and n, we need to find the minimal possible r such that x to the r divided by n, the remainder when you do that division, is equal to 1. Now, the circuit for this is fairly complex, but when we actually look at it, it's basically just an application of quantum phase estimation. I'm not going to get into the specifics of this circuit uh, in this video, considering it is uh, much longer than the other two circuits, and maybe I'll talk about it in another video. So the quantum Fourier transform has some very interesting algorithmic applications as I demonstrated in this video, and I think that as the field of quantum computation grows, that the use of the quantum Fourier transform will only grow exponentially, and that it will truly revolutionize the way that we think about computation and information theory.